Hey guys, Cody from Southeast Softwash. Going to do a quick video this morning uh, on surfactant. So, what is surfactant? You hear that word tossed around a lot in the soft washing, pressure washing world. So, surfactant is a chemical additive. It's we may say soap sometimes. Surfactant is not technically a soap, but we can sort of use them interchangeably. So, it's a surface acting agent. And in these chemicals, we've got some wetting agents. We've got some some soaps. A little bit of cleaning power that can help us on some specific jobs. So it does a couple things for us. We'll get into that in a second. Listen, before I forget, if you want to learn more about the business in general, how to make money, equipment, troubleshooting, marketing, all that stuff, come hang out with this WashCon, February, Nashville, Tennessee. First link in the description, first link in the comments. Uh, we're going to be hosting a really big event in Nashville, 100 tickets. We've already sold about 20, so uh, they're going fast. But if you guys want to come and hang out with us, it's going to be myself. Aaron Parker, Justin Rogers, and Mike Vidan teaching a two full immersive day class and then a third day for VIP tickets. Only two VIP tickets left. So anyway, check out the description. Let me, let me go back to surfactant here. What we've got, this is our stuff, okay? We've sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of this surfactant. It is known and loved by a lot of folks. This is our Southern Slang and our Southern Draw. Now, these are our new formulas. We just got these a couple months ago. This is our old uh, southern slang and I was never super happy with the cherry the slang as much as I was the lemon of our old version because the cherry as you can see hopefully that's showing up in camera this is not nearly as dark and I always wanted it to be a little bit more of a robust red color so we've been able to achieve that we went to a new company that's making our soap for us uh, my previous company that was making that right there they're based here in Alabama but they were a little shady to do business with they were actually undercutting us and selling our surfactant that we came up with to other customers that I sent them for to get bleach uh, without my label on it, kind of on the down low. So we cut them out and uh, we've got a new company that we're really, really excited to be working with. These guys are great, very easy to work with. And they're making us a bunch of other chems too. Uh, gutter brightener, bleach neutralizer, a really good degreaser, some rust removers, all that kind of stuff. So that stuff's coming, but right now, um, the two surfactants are non-DOT regulated, so we can ship those. We're working on getting our hazmat stuff so that we can ship all those other products. Some of those, you know, you have to have license for. So these two here, Southern Slang and Southern, I'm sorry, Southern Slang and Southern Draw, lemon and cherry, very, very good for soft washing. And let's break this down and talk about why. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we've got a couple of Alumamax Pros. These are our soft wash skids that we build. And on this side, we're going to be playing around with the Southern Slang. That's our cherry. Over here, we're gonna do a little experimenting with the Southern Draw, show you guys a few things about our surfactant. Super proud of this again. Both of these have been tremendous sellers. We've been selling them about two years, and we sell a ton of them. Lots of guys just absolutely love them. Some guys love the cherry, some guys love the lemon. Now, each one of these is recommended to dilute at 15 to one. The reason we made it for that uh, viscosity level and that dilution rate is we use a 16 gallon soap tank on our mini skids and on our big skids. Now, on our trailers, we use a 30. So that works out really good. You would use two of these on a trailer and then fill the rest of that 28 gallons up with water. Here, you'd fill this up 15 gallons of water and dump one gallon of that in there, which was gonna make a batch of soap in that tank. And then from that point, you use your metering system, your blend manifold to dilute ratios up and down as you're spraying, right? You may want a lot on a roof, not a whole lot on a house wash, hardly any if you're pre-treating a driveway. So that's how we do it. Now I've got 10 gallons of water in here today to show you guys on camera. I like to mix mine a little bit thicker, um, although I'm not trying to sell you a bunch more surfactant. The reason I do that, say if I was running this rig, I would put about a jug and a half per 16 gallons. So half, you know, 10 gallons or so, 10 to one, um, because let's say I'm out on a job site and I look over and notice that my, my soap tank's down pretty low. Well, if it's mixed on the thicker side, I can just go over here and top this off with water. And what's in there is gonna be so thick that when I re-dilute it, I'm gonna basically refill my tank. I'm gonna be watering it down, but it was thick already in there. Comment thick if you made it this far in the video. Um, it'll still be thick and soapy enough to do what I needed to do. If I mix it on the thin side, it'll still work, but when I run out, I'm pretty much out. So you gotta, you should always keep, you know, your basic chemicals on the truck anyways, but it's just a little trick we do so that those panic times when you're running low, it's not a big deal. You just top it back off. So a couple things that surfactant does, it is a soap, so it does help with a house wash if you've got really dirty cobwebs, actual dust, debris, stuff like that. It breaks surface tension. 
wraps around molecules and it helps you to rinse all that stuff away from the surface a lot better. Both of ours are very water soluble, so they rinse very easy. Never had an issue with, with this stuff rinsing off of windows and stuff like that. Doesn't leave any spots, so that's great. Um, on a roof cleaning, one of the big things this does is it adds thickness, again, there's that word, um, very, very thick, so it thickens up our mix, it foams up, as long as you're spraying it in a, a fan pattern where it'll aerate a little bit. So a lot of foam and it, it just slides down the roof. So you're not spending as much money on bleach. You'll save money on bleach by spending a little bit of money on surfactant. And I would rather spend money on surfactant because this isn't gonna kill plants. Uh, I'd rather keep that bleach on the roof. So it keeps the bleach up there, thickens it up. House wash, it does help a little bit with a house wash and it's got a cover scent. This is a very strong cherry cover scent. That one's a very good lemon cover scent. And then the fourth and final thing it does, ours does not have a marker dye in it. Some surfactants do, ours does not, but it, it is very <clears throat> iridescent. Let me uh, load this, this jug up here and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean. It is so bright. Um, the cherry, our old version, was never bright like I wanted it to be. This new stuff, as you can see, the tank is turning bright red. It almost acts as an indicator uh, to tell us when we transitioned over. So when we make an adjustment on our manifold, I can look for the color change coming out at the wand and I know, hey, I'm on my, my mix. When I see it go back clear, I know that I've gotten off my mix. And as long as uh, I'm making my bleach and soap adjustments at the same time, then I know I'm spraying bleach. I know I'm spraying soap. And I can tell when I've transitioned back and forth from water to my mix, whether that's a roof cleaning mix, a house wash mix or whatever. Okay, so we've got a 10 to one dilution rate. Again, normally you would dilute this on down. It ain't gonna really matter. Let's go load up the lemon. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when we're spraying. The lemon is probably gonna be a little bit more noticeable just because of the color, very iridescent, which I love, I absolutely love that about this stuff here. Now this tank's closer to 12 gallons, so 12 to one, doesn't really matter. Get all that in there. I could not tell you how many pallets we've sold of both of these. This has been our number one bestseller, uh, but a lot of guys are really loving the cherry as well. <coughs> and it's got that cover scent I'm fighting this cold, this uh, little lingering cough here, so sorry for that. But that cover scent, whether it's lemon or cherry, it just helps a lot with the homeowners not smelling pure bleach as you're walking around on the job site. So it does help. The cover scent is obviously not a big deal. You're going to get the job done either way, but it is nice to have. So let's stop the video. I'm going to pull some hoses off, and we'll see if we can tell uh with this stuff being bright enough when we're on soap and when all right guys hopefully we're in frame here but we're spraying just water right now because i've got 200 foot of loaded line that i've got to be able to purge out before we get to the soap so we're going to transition over from the clear water i can check it i can i can feel smell test no no surfactant yet that's just clear water so i'm going to hold it up a little closer in camera and hopefully y'all can see when that transitions, it's gonna be like a pink, reddish color. And that's what we would see out in the field. Let me get it to focus a little. There we go, boom, see that? Okay, really, really obvious pink, really cool. All right, and we can tell, hey, I'm on my mix. Let's check out the lemon. So, this one's gonna do the same thing, and it's gonna be very bright and obvious. We'll take this off so that it flows a little bit faster. Again, that's just water. You know, you can tell, it's clear. Um, like I said earlier, I was never super proud of the color on the cherry surfactant, but now that we've got this uh, new version out, they improved that color for me. And so now it's got all the same great features that it had before, but we can see it very visible. So let me get up close and we'll see if we can spot that transition here on the lemon. There's our clear stream of water takes about 60 seconds or a little less without the tip on there to purge that line. So here in the next coming up few seconds, we'll see a transition. And that's just super helpful. Again, it's not a color marking dye, but it does let me know when I've made my swap to my mix. Boom, there it is. Look at that, beautiful. Or when I went back clear, when we cut the line off, we'll purge it. And it, when this goes back clear, I know that I'm on water and that way I can't make a mistake out in the field.
Okay guys, so one final thing. You can see all of these clear hoses here are loaded up with surfactant. Here, that's your suction line coming from your tank. Uh, the line's coming and going from the pump up to the hose reel. So check this out. When I cut the manifold off, all of that, cut the soap off anyway, all of that is gonna go clear. It's gonna purge itself out. Now this one's not, because it's still connected to the soap tank, but everything from the manifold up to the hose reel has cleared itself out. See that? We're back to clear, watch. We can load this line and turn it pink, send the surfactant, boom, and we can shut the manifold back off. Wait a few seconds, boom, back to clear. Same thing on the, the other one over here. I've already done it, because we're purging everything back out. So a second ago, that was just bright green, just like that line right there is. So surfactant, do you need it? Well, yeah, pretty much. It's a uh, very important additive to our business. If you guys wanna get some, we got a bunch of it. Let me know. We, uh, we go through this about three pallets a week. So hop down in the description. We'll have a link to the web store as well. See ya.